Hi there. Welcome to this video on creating a toggle button. In here we're going to create a menu that can be turned on or off. And so here's the document with three pages. Each page is associated with a single master page. I've created bookmarks for each of the pages here. That way we can link to them with the buttons. And so let's go into the master page and take a look at the buttons themselves. So each of these have already been at least partially created and I'm gonna go through and add a few settings so you can sort of see as we're going along and then we'll create a button from scratch here in a second too. So here's page one, uh, page one button. I've given it a name that I can recognize and you'll see the reason for that in a second. And in addition to doing that, um, I've added this action with the plus button. It is go to destination and that is on page one. I also want to say hidden until triggered because I don't want this button to show up by default. And I'm going to go into uh, the page two button. I'm going to select that, click the plus for the action, say go to destination. And I'm going to choose page two as the destination. Also going to hide this button until it's triggered. And same thing with page three plus sign go to destination and I'm going to choose page three and select hidden until triggered and then let's take a look at the menu button here itself let's make it into a button by going to the buttons and forms panel I can either select this uh, convert to button option down at the bottom or I can go up to the type menu and choose button and I'm going to give that a name I can remember so I'm just going to call it menu BTN and on that particular action I would like to or on that button I would like to add the action of show hide buttons and forms and so in this one I'm, I'm just going to click away and refresh it because it doesn't yet realize that the uh, it had a name there so that's just a little bit easier to read with menu BTN in there so when I click on the menu button what I want to do is actually hide all three of these menu items. So I'm going to select those three buttons in the visibility uh, section here and click the I with a slash through it to hide those. Now in order to create the toggle effect I need to have an invisible button there and toggle the state of that button. So I'm going to go over to the tools and select the rectangular frame tool and I'm just gonna try and draw a rectangle that's roughly over uh, the size of that original button and I'm gonna go to the buttons and forms panel and convert that to a button and I'm gonna give that a name of toggle BTN and I'm gonna add the action to that to show hide buttons or forms and since that's going to sit on top to start with I want that button to show the visibility of all these items so with these selected I'm going to click the I to show them and I want it to hide itself so I'm going to select toggle BTN and click the I with a slash through it so when that gets hidden then the original the visible menu button will be exposed and when that button is clicked it will actually hide all of the uh, individual buttons here so the other thing I want to do is when I click on one of these individual buttons I also want all of them to go away and I want the I want the toggle button to come back so I'm going to for each of these buttons I'm gonna add the action to show or hide and I'm gonna select all three of these buttons and notice this is this is happening simultaneously with the go to destination action so I'm going to select all those buttons, hide them, and I want to make sure that the toggle button is visible. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other two buttons. Show or hide action. And I'm just using the shift key. I'm using the shift key, excuse me, to click on the last item and that will select the one in between as well. So hide those buttons. And then I want to make sure the toggle button is visible same thing on the last button here showing these three items oops sorry hiding those three items and showing the toggle button 
Okay, so with all of that in place, I just need to do one more thing. This um, toggle button sitting on top, and if I command click, so I'm just gonna, I just held the command key, and it it allowed me to select the thing underneath that. Now I've selected the menu button. You can tell by looking at the buttons and forms panel, and I want that menu button when that's clicked also to show the toggle button. So I'm just gonna I click the visibility in there so that there's an eye showing. So when I've got all that done, I can go up to File and choose Export HTML5 with In5. And I've already got that exported, so let's take a look at it. There's the menu since we chose Hidden by Default or Hidden until Triggered, excuse me, in the Buttons and Forms panel. Those three items are hidden and when I click on the menu button what I'm actually doing is clicking on the toggle button and that then reveals the three pages here so if I were to click on page three it would take me to page three and it hides the menu. If I open this back up I can click on page two uh, and let's just test and make sure if I click on the menu twice it shows and hides. So there you have it a toggle button with just a little trick using a, an invisible rectangle there and now you've got some nice interactivity that you can export to the web.